Some good wobbling effect work there. Oh, we've already started. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. Hi. Welcome to MGS. Dog, wake up! <laughs> Metal Gear! <laughs> ah, we gotta go! We, we, they stole the bomb! <laughs> eating pretzels and everything. Demanding that the well, it probably took a while to submarine out to the archipelago. We got a whole day. You can finish your pretzels before we get to the, to the yeah, important right. sneaking <laughs> mission. This, this is a game full of cutscenes. Although, I, I really... That, that was the reason I really liked this game, is because there was all this downtime between the action segments. I thought that was really cool. The cutscenes are adequately paced out in MGS1, and they are frankly quite impressive for the generation. They managed to pull off being really cinematic. For the most part, they look nice. They're oh yeah, absolutely. Directed they well. The voice acting, goofy, but miles ahead of anything else that was on the PS1. For the most Definitely. part. Definitely. It was a completely different kind of There's game. There's a reason this did so well and just carried on forever in an unkillable franchise. Sneaking and Minuata. I'm glad it did. Games would not be the same without Metal Gear. High Tech Special Forces Unit Foxhound. Your former unit, and one that I was a commander of. So they're still around. There are six members of Foxhound involved in this terrorist activity. Psycho Mattis, with his powerful psychic abilities. Oh, so Campbell Number used to one. command Foxhound? I forgot about that. Yep. <laughs> Decoy Octopus, Master <clears throat> Disguise, Vulcan Raven. Yeah, I think Campbell Scout was introduced in Metal Gear 2. Yeah. Revolver Ocelot, yeah, that sounds about right. Although I'm not really familiar with that game. Gunfighter. And finally, in charge of them, Foxhound Squad Leader, Liquid Snake. Liquid Snake. The man with the same code name as you. The nuclear weapons disposal facility covers the whole island. I'll instruct you by codec after you reach your target. Anyone going with me? As usual, this is a one-man infiltration mission. Weapons and equipment OSP? Yes. This is a top-secret black op. Don't expect any official support. And welcome to the main menu. <laughs> <laughs> All that just to get to the That menu. entire cutscene is just the teaser before the game has been opened. I think it plays again on selecting a new game, so we're going to have to skip that when it comes around. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, Metal, Metal Gear. Uh, forget if I've unlocked anything from previous uh, attempts at this. Let's see. What's in my... I uh, no, there's just the... Just the summaries of the other two the old MSX All games. Right. Synopses. Maybe under options? I know there's some kind of new game plus feature you get. Well, two of them in particular. But, uh, I mean, I'm not sure if they're options or just straight up things that happen. Uh, oh wait, captains. Captains on. Okay. Well, yes, captains on, sound stereo. Alright, we're good. Gear. And of course there are the briefing tapes where we can get various little little bits of pre-story on hand-drawn VHS. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole faux video effect. <clears throat> Very short tapes too, if we're only getting like thirty seconds apiece. Oh really? They were only I feel like this was like really long, but maybe I'm thinking of another game where they did a similar thing. Well, they're divided up into many small segments. As a whole, oh, okay. it's quite long, but they... It's in the Twin Snakes release of this that you're allowed to pan the camera because they actually gave you a 3D render instead of the... I may be thinking of that, yeah. Instead of the art animations. Just gotta have three cameras on Snake at all times. Yeah, we're gonna... <laughs> let's just drop out of this. We don't... Eject this. I've already seen this one. <laughs> yeah, there's, you got description, outline, operation. 
detailed breakdown of all kinds of shenanigans. Also, somewhere buried in, uh, I believe, that tape is the only picture of Decoy Octopus. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. Colonel, I don't work for the government. Uh, I said no. D D how, do you work how do you program this thing? I've been, I've been playing too many jar pegs, so uh, if I'm used to, to access confirm rather than circle, as happens here. Normal. Alright, now we get to just move directly to arrival. No need to rehash all that. Very good. Yeah, you only see that whole thing if you watch the, the, the attract mode. Well, it fires up immediately after loading, so it's, you'll know it's there. It doesn't try to sneak away from you. So, ready for the hardest part of the game? Oh, boy. <laughs> Are you ready for some espionage? Yeah, they really... Now, the only reason why I was, like, mildly okay at this <coughs> was because I had the demo before I actually played the game. Let's actually put away the OBS window, because seeing this twice... Just like a couple of frames apart is very distracting. Yeah. Too wa too much wobbling. Too much wobble. Love that distinctive wobble. That it has something <laughs> to do with the way the PS1 like compressed and manipulated textures. Wobble oh, is yeah. inevitable. Uh, the demo for this game was in Japanese, and it uh, it was basically until you get into the facility. So it also does the next section. So I practiced the fuck out of that. Looks like the elevator in the back is the only way up. Just as I expected. But it took me quite a while. I was I got destroyed quite a few times trying to play that. Contact me by Kodak. The frequency is 140.85. When you want to use the Kodak, push the select button. When we need to contact you, the Kodak will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. Tutorial. The codex receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Inject a radio into your skull to today. It. Got it. Okay, I'm ready to go. And we have control. Which means we have options. Now go get yourself killed. It's time for espionage. It's time for smoking. <laughs> Let's not be seen by that man. There we go. You're not gonna grab the stuff in the water? Nah, there's there's more where it comes from. What's in there? Uh, I think it's just a ration. Well, if you don't get caught, you won't need it, but. So how much have you played this game? I've played it through a couple of times. Okay. Quite fun. It's good stuff. Good oh games. yeah, no, I, I played this game through. Friend of the game, times. friend of the franchise. <clears throat> Smoking the whole the whole time. I have on many occasions forced people to marathon it blind as a means of introducing them. Yeah. It's good stuff. Forklift, save me. Oh, and I'm like I'm like, just dive over the water. What are you doing? And I, then I remember. Water is loud. <laughs> no, I remember you don't have a dive move yet in this game. All right, forklift. Good friend. Good buddy forklift. Yeah, right. He's going to back me up on this. Right, you got to wait for the guy to come down. Mm -hmm. Any day now, elevator. Hey, Jeremy Blaustein. Sit back and relax. Snake, it's not good to be constantly inhaling with that cigarette. <laughs> Just on break. Don't mind me. <laughs> Regulations. Right. My break is so, so short. I need to... In I need to smoke my cigarette in one giant inhale. Turn off my vape inhibitor. 
Alright, let's go. Elevator! So, if you're discovered, you can't get on the elevator, right? Uh, until the alert is off. Right. But you can get on the elevator and then get discovered. Mm. Pro maneuvers. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> now, not to be seen. Now for a uh, explicit stripping scene. Full frontal David Hater. And then his ears freeze off. <laughs> I know, right? Well, no, didn't they? Yeah, they, they, they mentioned him being shot full of antifreeze, among other weird shenanigans mm -hmm. bullshit. Yeah, pretty sure Naomi will tell us that in the next Kodak call. Metal Gear Solid tactical elevator action. Snake. I'm in front of the disposal facility. Excellent, Snake. Age hasn't slowed you down one bit. How's that sneaking suit working out? I'm nice and dry, but it's a little hard to move. Bear with it. It's designed to prevent hypothermia. This is Alaska, you know. Take it easy. I'm grateful. If it weren't for your suit and your shot, I would have turned into a popsicle out there. An anti-freezing peptide, Snake. All of the genome soldiers... Yeah, the suit designed to prevent hypothermia. I'm relieved to hear that. It needs All to be very over-engineered to remove the need for any kind of headway. Two F-16 yeah, right? from Galena and are headed your way. The terrorist radar should have already picked them up. Behind D. Colonel. What's a Russian gunship doing here? the bubbles above the, the cockpit of the high D there. They just look like big googly eyes from the front. Just, mm. <laughs> the high D is in a constant state of terror. Hi, I'm a helicopter! Oh, what are you doing? I wasn't designed for this. I'm a ground attack craft. No! hours left until their deadline. You've got to hurry. Wow, you must be crazy to fly behind in this kind of weather. Who's that? Oh, sorry. I haven't introduced you two yet. This is Mei Ling. She was assigned to us as our... Hey, let's introduce a 12-year-old Asian girl. Hey. She designed your code as hey. well as your yeah, She's on probably like 17, on. right? Contact her if you have any questions about either of them. Yeah, also, backstory, presumably. <laughs> nice to meet you, Snake. It's an honor to speak to a, a living legend like yourself. What's wrong? Nothing. I just didn't expect a world-class designer of military technology to be so cute. <laughs> You're just flattering me. No, I'm serious. Well, I know I won't be bored for the next 18 hours. Come on. I can't believe I'm being hit on by the famous solid snake. But uh, I'm surprised. You're very frank for a trained killer. Looks like we both have a lot to learn about each other. Everyone just yeah. respectfully. I'm looking forward to learning the, about the man behind the stations. But first, let me explain about your Soliton radar system. A moment of silence for the Soliton radar system. The bright dot in the middle is you, <laughs> Snake. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. If you haven't figured that out intuitively the by the time you snuck through the, the loading dock there, uh, the I'm not sure what to they tell you sure about your, your prospects see. in video games. First, How did you get through the loading dock then? The if you haven't machine. figured out that, th that these are the meds, the how far they see. Transmitting nanomachines as you. He should appear on your radar as a green dot. 
Get whatever information you can from him about the terrorists. If he's alive, that is. Nano machines. Such humble beginnings as we put a tracker in a man. Snake, your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. Yes, it gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. Yes, it's all made from currently existing technology. As opposed to the future to technology that, that we have on the top shelf. So be careful. Save that for special we'll projects. monitoring your movements by radar, so contact us by codec anytime you want. Got it. I'll call if I'm feeling lonely. Seriously, Snake, we're here to back you up, so call if you need some information or advice. That is a strange line. I'm it's made of currently existing data. technology. Contact of course it is. You if you made it, it exists. My frequency <laughs> is 140.96. It's a dedicated frequency for saving data. Don't forget it. Remember, except for your... Yeah, that line always bothered me, actually. <laughs> Wait, what does that mean, exactly? Remember. First what aren't you no. telling me? <clears throat> no, we, we, we made it out of alien technology, so... We made it out of imaginary technology. <laughs> A damn it, imaginary numbers. I'll hold you to that, Doctor. By the way, sorry to disappoint you, but I did manage to smuggle out my smokes. How did you do that? In my stomach. Thanks to the shot you gave me that suppressed my stomach acids. Cigarettes? How are those going to help you? <laughs> You never know. So he just threw up his cigarettes, yeah, right? Yeah, he vomited that up the moment we got out of the water. I, yeah. I really wish that was in the cutscene, frankly. Just as soon as you get out, <laughs> <laughs> It's the fastest way, but there's too much risk of being spotted by the enemy. I can't just knock on the door and ask them to let me in. The door's too much. One sentry on the left and one on the right. They're armed with five five sixers and pineapples. What about the air duct near the door? There should also be a duct on the second floor. Yeah. <laughs> Sneak. I can't see it from here. I'll let you decide the best COA. I'm counting on you. Translator's sleep. note, COA stands for course of action. <laughs> and we're back. Thank you, Jeremy Bosty. Control has been established. Ooh, spotlights. Don't play with spotlights, kids. Hey, truck. This fellow. A surveillance camera? Cameras. The fuck is a camera? Surveillance camera. You're, you're, you're still smoking. Mm -hmm. High tech weapons disposal site. Never heard of a fisheye lens. <laughs> Are you going to be smoking the whole game? Oh. oh. Wrong button. Well, that was a short operation. Rip United States of America. <laughs> Get back on the saddle. And, yes, absolutely. You're going to be smoking the whole game? Mar Marlboro gear action. <laughs> Tactical espionage inhalation. Wait, why is everyone yellow? Uh, those, the yellow ones are cameras. Are they? That's weird. I remember the cameras being the same color in other games. Right, that's what it, that's what I was missing. There's a there's a box of chaff grenades on the helipad that I yeah. ignored. Yeah, we'll find. I mean, you don't there. need them here, but they help. Anyway, let's get see. the box. Get the box. Oh, oh, the box. Oh, I'm thinking in the demo, that's where the box was. Yeah, we'll find boxes later. Yeah, we'll get a box. Oh. Never mind. There's a dude there. Let's remember what controls are before we get horribly gunned. Or after. Your radar. 
is a thing that helps you plot your <laughs> green but gr light cone of blue. What? <laughs> Hold on, you will put what in my blood? Let's just get to the point, dude. Can you get the uh, the pistol out here? No idea. I forgot that before you get any health ups, you can take like three shots. <clears throat> and down. And let's get out of that. And perhaps over hereabouts. Yeah, we're good. That's right, go home. Okay. Now we espionage. Guys, 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 guys. A whole world of guards. All kinds of security. Hey. Yeah, you might need that. Whose footprints are those? You'll never know. I'm a mystery. Hmm. Close enough. Never <laughs> see me. Get in the hole. <laughs> or up the stairs. Espionage! Whichever one of the entryways. Success! <clears throat> Don't mind me, I'm just a hamster. <laughs> Harmless Alaskan rats. Donald Miller. It's been a long time. Master, what are you doing here? I quit being a drill instructor, so I moved out here for some peace and quiet. I'm in retirement, just like you. Once in a while, I still help train the Alaskan So scouts. why do you know I'm on a classified mission that was organized two hours ago? You told me about the situation here. I thought I might be of some use. There's no one I'd rather have in a foxhole than you. Well... I know lots about survival in a harsh environment. I've lived in Alaska longer than you, so call me if you have any questions about the flora or fauna out here. My frequency is 141.80. If you think moss will somehow help you on this mission, I know about <laughs> moss. Ask me anything <laughs> about moss. Oh boy. The things I know about moss. Oh, yeah, I think you're going to die before you get out of these vents. It's okay, we brought lunch. I have a suspicion that that cigarettes don't do lethal damage. They don't? Uh, I have the vague impression, maybe it was in one of the other ones, that cigarettes can only bring you down to zero health, but you won't die of smoking. Have you done an all cigarettes run before? Nope. First floor basement ventilation shaft. Shut those cupboards as soon as they're done spraying. Also, keep your eye on that woman in the cell. Don't get careless now. Woman in the cell? Did something happen? There's an intruder. Really? He's already done three people. He's killed three people? Yeah. What? He's using stealth. We didn't kill anybody. Stealth. Well, no, that There's doesn't. Intruder I know. Talking about, yeah. anyway, They're talking about somebody else. The There's some other <laughs> infiltrator who is committing murders. With stealth. Most intriguing. <laughs> no one knows what he looks like because he actually was stealthy about it. He's, he is a ghost. This base is haunted, Colonel. And there's another room you can see from these vents. No particular use in it, but you can, you 
can see it. That one too. Ah, there's the exit. And there are snacks. Snacks. I don't, I don't, not now! Snacks! <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're, we're full up on. Well, in that case. In that case, continue the health loss. Skull! There we go, action button. On our way. Use the elevator to change floors. There should be a cargo elevator that you can take down somewhere around there. Try to find it. The snake. What level are you in? Uh, we just started. We have just begun to shadow the Moses. Ah. Well, I guess that makes sense. Shadow of Molasses. Shadow of Molasses. So, what emulator are you playing this on? Because I've had issues trying to stream this myself. PSX. -y. Um, you do, do you, is the uh, disk swap glitch still there? Uh, I'm not sure if they've, whack when I first emulated this. Whack. Yes, it was still a problem. I do not know if it has been corrected in more recent versions. Hmm. I feel like there that's something that they would correct since it's such a popular game. Well, I, I think I streamed it like eight months ago. And because it's a more like... general problem of, hey, we have this PSX emulator that has trouble swatching discs. Yeah, but I streamed well, it a while again, back like, and I still still couldn't swap like, the discs. Like, which dog, you had no problem switching discs during FF8. No, I got around that by, because like, the game lets you save it when you, uh... Mm-hmm. Espionage. Yeah, Things like FF8 and uh, Chrono Cross had this weird thing where they would have a save that could be loaded on disc 1 or disc 2. I don't think Metal Gear Solid had that. See, that's the smart thing to do. Click. <laughs> Alright. Pretty sure. Elevator. I don't think Pretty I need sure anyone Final to explain Fantasy's... elevator to me. I can work it out. <laughs> Pretty sure <laughs> Final Fantasy 7 did that too. Hmm. Well, Fancy 7 also had Lego people. So we know. Our VIP is over there. Sup, Donald? <laughs> he should appear as a green mass on your radar. <laughs> he should appear as a vague blur. <laughs> it's the Dalipet Chief. The, the green well, dot? Are you sure? Well, that's that's like... He's every single one of the net... His entire blood is showing up as a blip. It's all It's all over the place. Little did we know that it's actually decoy octopus. Spoiler. <laughs> that's you know that's not like proven to be true or false, right? It's just a bullshit theory. But if you want to go no, it's it's that. a plot point in the game. The Was it? Yes. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, they tell you. Otherwise, tell nothing you. that happens in this scene makes any sense. Yeah, it, that's true. I mean, the guy knows things that he shouldn't and doesn't know things that he should. Hmm. And, you know, performs step one in fooling you into uh, fooling you into activating the Metal Gear. Spoilers, yeah. we're going to activate the Metal Gear. We have to fight a Metal Gear in Metal Gear. <laughs> no! I think, we're, I think we're well out of, like, serious spoiler zones because how we? old is this game? I know it's old, but... Because how many I packs believe... are we going to smoke over the course of this run? Oh, we... Found. I'm pretty sure that this dude could gamble in California, or this right, game good. could gamble in California. We got, we got ammo and pistol, both from this band. Good. There are many places where you can acquire the first pistol. I want to say, like, 1998. Hmm, I actually have a way to check this out. Give me a second. Wait a minute, we can just verify this using the repository of all human knowledge. It's right there. <laughs> we don't have to argue, we can just consult. I think he sounded like he actually had a copy of it somewhere, though. I'm guessing that's what he meant. 
There's a button for look down these, isn't there? Snake. And yes, they then later spell out that, yeah, that was decoy the whole time. And Fox You're right, Doug, it's, uh, 1998. Yeah, I'm also. I had to take out my PS2 Essentials collection to check. <clears throat> yeah, Ra uh, Vulcan Raven tells you we're being later told on. That we can... it, there we go. Hey, Meryl. Is, Is it... So, funny story about the PS2 Essentials collection. There, everybody remembers the scene where, uh... Um, what's his face tells you to look in the back of the box for the codec, right? Mm-hmm. Well, in the PS2 Essentials collection, the PS2 DVD case does not have that information in the back of the box. Oh. But it's in the back of the uh, big cardboard thing that holds all three games, and it's also in the instruction manual. Huh. So they just say look for the instruction manual? Mm -mm. They still tell you to look in the back of the box. It's it's a it's just a straight up PS one copy, but they oh. actually They're not gonna go the in there and it. change the dialogue. Just yeah, I guess one. not. But they also like made a box so you have to look in the back of it. Hello, Donald. In that case, hurry up and get me out of here. Slow down. Don't worry. First, I want some information. About the terrorists. The terrorists? Do they really have? Is it sad that Smash Brothers Brawl got me into the into the uh, Metal Gear series? Yeah. Got what? I only started playing the Metal Gear Solid series because of, of uh, Brawl. Is it possible? <laughs> it's possible. Yes. And I do feel pretty bad for coming in that late, cause fuck, great series. They shouldn't have access to this is like one of the few games I have on the PS1. So great with all its origami characters. It did quite a bit for the time. Oh yeah. Definitely prefer the expressive wiggling over crude attempts at having mouths flap. <laughs> I mean, I like both versions. They're both completely different to me. But what, the uh, PS1 and GameCube? Yeah. Oh, I don't even mean comparing this to two. Twin Snakes is the, at a later time when they're capable of making things look fine with right. models oh, yeah. and so forth. But I'm talking Twin about Snakes also has a case of... Temporary. Go ahead. I'm talking about against its contemporaries and other methods. Either oh, uh, oh, shuffling yeah. around textures to animate mouths or so attempting to have models move to flat mouths. Mm -hmm. The wiggling definitely does a good job of making use of limited resources. I think it's funny that you mentioned wiggling because uh, Wonderful 101 does that for like the o for like the zoomed out cutscenes. You'll just see the character wiggle instead of actually, you know, try to express themselves for talking. Twin Snakes had a lot of whoosh sounds. Yeah. Twin Snakes had a case of the what was it? Uwe Bowl, who does like the really corny action movies. Uh. No, Michael Bay. That's what yeah, I was gonna say. I don't know why it's just a bad ball. video game movie. <laughs> oh, that's probably why. Metal Gear Ooh, a bull has invented forbidden Cold camera Cold techniques. Metal Gear prototype. Forbidden techniques that will be used in the post-apocalyptia because people need to figure out how to do entertainment industry again. Hey, Johnny, you're going to notice, you know, the, uh, the people talking in the cell? Johnny doesn't give a fuck. Johnny just thinks he's ta the president's talking to himself. But I thought that all nuclear warheads were equipped with safety measures. <laughs> twin, code. Still. Twin, twin snakes. Didn't they in Twin Snakes? Wasn't he like clinging to the yeah, ceiling? Yeah, they had like Spider-Man. Spider <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that was just so unnecessary. Also, Twin Snakes had a 420 no scope. When? Uh, the last segment with Sniper Wolf. Like he does, I, 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 he does a backflip to he does a backflip to jump onto the butt of a sniper rifle, pick it up in midair, then do a sweet do a sweet spin to one shot sniper rifle sniper wolf. I don't <laughs> from, remember that. It's so bad. Let me see if I can find it. I gotta find. The, I think one of my favorites is uh when he throws the grenade into the barrel of the tank cannon. Oh, I must have missed that. It's it's when you fight the tank after you beat it. Oh, uh, these are all LPs. They don't have the funny video I want to show off. 
course they're all LPs. Welcome to the future of YouTube. They'll be able to launch a nuke anytime. But there is a way to stop the launch. What? The card keys. Card keys? They were designed by Armstead, the system developers, as an emergency override. Even without the Even when I type in 420 no scope, it's all LPs. What the fuck is this? You expected fewer LPs from the phrase 420 no scope? <laughs> yeah, right? Come on. Ah, that sucks. That's so disappointing. Also, as can... far as secured as backstabbing ah, plans go, the one in MGS Wood is relatively straightforward and kind of well executed. What do you mean? Uh, the whole the whole trick with uh, making us believe that the keys are the way to stop the nuke. Oh yeah. They just bluff that they already know how to launch and be like, "Oh, we better not let them get those keys." Yep. Second floor basement. And then the they give you the key, and then let you figure. And they they let the you go through all this effort yes. just to figure out how to use them. Yep. But didn't have enough time. To all right, I'm a mod in this chat. <laughs> there you go. Yep. No scope. It was literally the last result when I typed in those exact numbers. Instead, I got a bunch of LPs preceding it. I was like, God damn, this base is really dilapidated. For somewhere they stored nuclear warheads. It's storage, not maintenance. They just kind of dump them there. And it's really fucking dilapidated. Just, oh, by the way, we had to replace two whole giant man-sized chunks of wall that collapsed. <laughs> uh, I can even see four of these. Gotcha. I think you can just boot them, Snake. Okay. I'm gonna get you out of here. Wait a minute. Can I get a hammer? Is it? You have no, he needs C4. You disarm the pal, have you? From your bosses or anyone? I mean, I'm pretty good at kicking. Yeah, but yeah here, here's where he here's where he kind of gives himself away just a little bit. So you're super sure there's no other way to disarm the weapon, right? They didn't tell you any secret ways to disarm the weapon? <laughs> oh, yeah, because he keeps, like, Yeah, and then he starts that. asking questions, and then... What is it? Hmm. Back in the flash, I'm going to nuke this really bad pizza <laughs> that I picked up. And then... Fox dog. Bam! What happened? So, I guess this is sort of a good thing then, huh? Yeah. Thanks, Fox Nine. <laughs> yeah. What what was the theory that it didn't that it didn't uh kill any of the other members of Foxhound? Uh, I'm not sure. Either that it was actually named at Anderson and Octopus's mimicry was just good enough. To, it looked like a hot to attack, maybe. Oh, okay. Colonel, are you hiding something from me? Absolutely not. Snake, you've got to understand. This op is security. At least it level just way. aimed at. You need the it, highest security clearance to get access it, to the Right, because they wanted they wanted to kill him anyway. So Donald Baker and Squid <coughs> are then just the three targets the of Fox. Secretary yeah. of Defense is in operational control. I'm just here as your support. Snake. We don't have time to debate. Get out of there and find uh, President the, Baker. Well, well, why does the base have prison cells and a torture room? Well, the the prison cells, at least, these are kind of tiny. I could see this. It's just two cells. This could very easily just be a brig for yeah. any other reasonably sized base of operations. Yar, I'm taking you to the brig in this nuclear storage facility. It's called a brig. That's what a military <laughs> prison's called, a brig. The, 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 the it's torture a, room. This is a that, drunk tank. It's where you just throw people who've misbehaved for a while to cool off. The torture uh, room, they, they put that in there for fun. Yeah. They put that at the request of Ocelot. Where am I oh, going no, to torture to people? <clears throat> I'm so bored, damn it. Where am I going to torture people? Do we really need to torture people, Ocelot? I mean, these are just no, nukes. No, you don't need to. Not. I like the <laughs> I like the level of effort that has gone into creating that transparent area on on the rifle there. Is this the first time you ever pointed a gun at a Oh hey, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> yeah, there's transparency there under the bar. It's a little bit weird. Like you can't see the opposite side of the gun through it or any of that because it's just a transparent section of the texture rather than an actual like indent in the model. Yeah, still a pretty good effect. 
you, talk you have too rookie much. eyes. Taking the safety off, rookie. Because we can't I'm go nobody. anywhere without quoting that ego raptor animation. Not one of them, are you? Open that door. You've got a car, don't you? Why? So we can get the hell out of here. Looks like we'll be a little delayed. Hey, Ocelot may have brought the torture equipment, or, you know, jury rigged it out of some other thing. The torture yeah. room could just as easily be a, uh... Control room. Yeah. Alright, one for one. It's... Decent rate of attrition so far. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, maybe you shouldn't have smoked so much. The, uh... Smooth. The big downfall of Metal Gear Solid 1 was the combat, in my opinion. It's a lot more streamlined. Well, the, like, when they games. make you fight three guys like that, mm -hmm. at a, you're at a serious disadvantage. This is why I'm going to equalize things once we get through the, the scripted scene. Really? If, you don't, yeah. if you don't die before the grenade goes off, because honestly, I think you can take two shots. Eat some food. I also have lunch. I can, I can lunch in the event of an emergency. Yeah, you might have to eat lunch several times. <laughs> All may, kinds of there lunch. There may be many tactical lunches. Tactical wait, they make you, they make you wait for all the for the. You gotta wait for her to uniform. open the door every time. Whoa, whoa, um, whoa! Hey, why do why do you don't you hijack my equipment, game? <laughs> oh no! Because you pulled it out in the cutscene. That's why. Nice attention to detail, Kajim-san. And lunch. prediction accurate. I died. <laughs> the, the grenade outlived me. Launch. Okay. You, you did not lunch. When We're you learning here. Lunch. Why did you have the cigarettes equipped instead of the lunch? The, the lunch auto lunch is when you get shot killed. Because that would break the all cigarette run. Oh, we're, what? Now we get to get to think about. No, I just want to see how long Loon will put up death. with this before. Yeah, camera. Will is there something under the bed, by the way? Shifts out of the well, maybe. I it think looks... it's just uh, bullets. Well, bullets are bullets. Right. Nope. Additional <laughs> lunch. this guy's body. All right, let's. There we go. <laughs> Topped off, ready for action. There you go. <clears throat> All right, let's go. Tasty. The stun grenade isn't going to just remove them, though. Won't they just get back up? It'll make them more manageable. I think it also would get, like, puts them in, like, two-star stun or something. Yes, this is much more manageable. Wait, wait. Oh. Hmm. Don't talk to me like a rookie. Yes. I'm telling you, shoot! <laughs> I love that line. And now she has begun fighting as well. So, all is well there. That's the scene at a fucking, uh, Scarface. Just mows down people. Oh yeah, I don't know, like, I have to say this trivia every single time somebody plays Metal Gear Solid. You wanna know why they use the SOCOM and the FAMAS as the go-to weapons in this game? Because... they're... are they Russian? No, because the models are... because the guns in real life are, like, the most rectangular guns ever, yep, and it makes... they were just easier to accurately model with the limitations oh. of the PS1. Yep! Like, I did not uh, know that. I think the that's FAMAS cool. is French? Is oh, the FAMAS yeah. French? Yeah, I, I, I think that's right. I had to check now. The SOCOM is American, right? Yeah, SOCOM is American. There's an entire game series based around it. Yeah. Fusil de Salt de la Manufacture d'Armes de Saint-Étienne, or Assault Rifle from the Saint-Étienne Weapon Factory. I love every time there is an acronym that is just straightforward description of item. <laughs> well, <laughs> That's I was always wondering why it's called the FAMAS. We call it our new assault rifle. <laughs> <laughs> assault we made rifle made by us, French arms manufacturing company. <laughs> Do not steal. We weren't aware that it was going to be a brand. Who are you? Oh, that, that's a step removed from German naming schemes of device which places bullets at man at great speed. <laughs> Minimal manual that? input. I'm sorry, sir. His mental shielding was very yes, this, this vision. Whoops, I killed him. <laughs> Sucks, <laughs> boss. Just, whoops. He's dead. <laughs> I can't remember, was it a uh, one or three where if you fuck up during a torture scene, you hear Liquid go, Ocelot! <laughs> no, Ocelot's just. Yeah, if you die during the torture scene, uh. You Liquid did just kind of comes in. You just kind of. Liquid just kind of runs in and screams Ocelot, and then Ocelot's like, 
Sorry, boss. Just for Christ's sake, Adam! I'm a spooky ghost! <laughs> and here's where the game just goes Ew. off the rails. 